It's the Dallas Cowboys traveling to Philadelphia to what? take on the Eagles. Four and Sorry. one. Sunday what? night, fool. Sunday night. Sorry. Sunday Prime night. Time. Come on, cut. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Disrespect my team like that, man. My yeah. bad. The Kim Dallas Walker Cowboys at four right. and one take on the five and oh Eagles on Sunday night prime time football here. Uh, the Eagles are favored in this game, six points and an over under of 42. Aaron's hyped. Aaron's hyped. He's ready. He's excited. Keep disrespecting us, ho. Keep disrespecting us. Six points. Yeah, that's just disrespectful. Wow. Disrespectful. Wow. Six points. Come on, man. Division rivalry with our defense, and they're going to give Philly six points. Listen, I, I know I, I, don't, I don't got a lot to say about this game. So it's going to be it's going to be a good game, but it's not at full strength from, from either side. So it, whatever. It's an early season game. This will go a long way in determining division maybe later. I don't care. But six points, come on, man. That's just disrespectful. Cowboys defense is legit. They're elite. They're one of the best in football. Uh, this has to be a Cooper Rush thing because I don't think that if Dak Prescott was playing in this game that the Philadelphia Eagles would be six-point favorites. And I know they're the darlings of the league right now, but I really do think this is disrespectful. Um, yeah, it's uh, – come on, man. Just come on. Man. Okay. Come on. All right. Well, the disrespect well. is there. Uh, this, this is two teams. You talked about how they're, they're both banged up. No Dak in this game, but it's the, it's the defense for Dallas that has been really leading the way. They have the best pass rush in the NFL. According to PFF, I'm going to bring this back up. PFF has the Cowboys as the best pass rush, uh, has the highest rated pass rush, uh, in the NFL. But Can on I the ask other you something side, really about that though? On the think? other side, no, the I Eagles, got a question for you. On the other side, the Eagles have the best PFF pass rushing grade. Uh, or pass protection grade, pass protection grade. What is your question? What? What? My what question do is: Did you need PFF to actually know that? I don't know. I have my I have my people. I don't I don't need that. I didn't need that stat. I didn't. No, need what it. I'm asking. That's what I'm asking you. Like we talk about PFF, you could watch the games and you knew that the Dallas Cowboys had the best pass rush in football. You didn't need PFF to tell you that. No, no, you're you're right. But I do need well, PFF. To, I did. I did need PFF to tell me that the Eagles uh, lead 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 the league. Uh, in terms of pass blocking. Uh, okay, maybe I didn't need that either. Either way, Eagles have a great pass blocking system going on there. The Cowboys have a great pass rushing system going on there. AJ, which side do you give the edge to? Ooh, came to me with the edge. I thought you were going to go to the edge for, uh, oh, Mr. Cowboy nope. over there. No, nope, um, I got a Cowboys cool. question that's for him cool. later. That's cool. Okay, okay. Um, so are we talking specifically on the pass rush, pass protection yes, side? Yes. If that's the case, I'm probably going to give the edge to the Dallas Cowboys. And the reason being is because as, as instinctive as Jalen Hurts can be, as talented as he is with his legs, a team like Dallas has the capability to get him flustered when he is doing nothing but facing pressure, when he's doing nothing but facing that pass rush. I'm not saying he's not going to get out and make some plays with his legs. I'm not going to say he's not going to make some incredible throws on the run. We've seen him do it. He hasn't been the most accurate when he's making those throws on the run, uh, but he, he's he's got the talent, the capability, and the weapons in an A.J. Brown, Devontae Smith, and a Dallas Goddard uh, to, make some the, to make some of those throws happen. Um, so I'm going to give the edge to uh, to Dallas when it comes to the pass rush side of things. Uh, but if he wants to make sure that he is able to beat that pass rush more often than not, he needs to rely on a check down to Miles Sanders, and he needs to rely on a security blanket of Dallas Goddard, both who have been pretty good for him. Miles Sanders up and down when it comes to the pass game, but we know he's capable of being better as a pass game. And I think if they utilize those two players at those points in times this week, uh, they'll be all right. Okay, on the Cowboys side, Aaron, you mentioned no Dak Prescott in this game. You're a little bummed out that you're not going to be able to see both these teams at full strength just yet. Uh, but Cooper Rush, five and zero as a starter with the Cowboys, it's a, it's a big deal. It's a very big deal. He's looked he's looked fine. It's not there's no quarterback controversy. He's done exactly what he's needed to do. Give me three your three keys to this offense in this game against the Eagles for them to be run successful. The football. Run the football. Um, don't turn the football over. <laughs> okay. I mean, it, it's there. They're a basic offense without Dak Prescott. They're going to run the football. And don't, don't turn it over and protect Cooper rush and may hopefully convert short third downs. Um, this is a very simple game plan for Dallas when Cooper rush is under center. So offensively, it doesn't matter. There's nothing. I don't think this game matters at all about the Dallas offense. I think it's going to come down to the question you asked AJ and 
that's going to be the determining factor as far as who wins the matchup. Because if they can't get pressure on Jalen Hurts, the Eagles will win. If they do get pressure on Jalen Hurts, then it doesn't matter what the Dallas Cowboys offense does. And we've seen that. Saw it in the Bengals game, saw it in the Rams game, that they don't have to be great on offense to win. They just need to be great at getting to the quarterback and not turn the football over offensively. And I think that's really what decides this game. Jordan Mailata's out for the Eagles. That could be, that's a big loss. That's why I said they're not at full strength either. Um, even that offensive line, it's going to come down to that. The trenches is always what matters, but more so in this game, because both of these teams rely heavily on the trenches. It's not Kansas city where you can window dress some things up and avoid, you know, some of those pressures. This is, this is like Eagles saying, we protect Jalen, we run the football, and we can create big plays. That's our offense. Dallas is getting to the quarterback and disrupting what an offense wants to do. It's all about that O-line versus D-line. And that's the matchup that I'm watching the entire game. Like, I don't, yeah. I don't care and, about and, nothing else. And Jalen Hurts has not been the best when it comes to, like, performance when he's been pressured he's got he's 22nd in the nfl in terms of passer rating when pressured fifth in the nfl when not pressured so it definitely comes down to that aaron can you because it because you didn't have the best question off the jump for that what does how does jalen hurts and this offense react like what they need to do to be successful against that pass list? like what what type of schemes give us like an x and an o's uh type of answer uh, to battling again, uh, competing against this pass rush. Yeah, they need to they need to stay patient with the run game. They need to run the football. Sometimes I saw it in a few games this year where they would. You, you mentioned they would go cold or they would stop scoring. Um, it's part a lot of this because they got so in love with the the big plays and the run and the pass game. They need to run the football. Dallas is not great against the run. Dallas has actually said like hey, we're willing to give up these rush yards to create big plays when a quarterback drops back to pass and we know we can get to them. The Eagles run the football and control the time of possession. They are probably going to run down the throats of the Dallas Cowboys. Like if they just stay consistent with it, because it's going to force Dallas to change the way they want to play defense. They'll have to take those pass rushers out. They'll have to put these run stoppers in. And then that what happens? You run some play action. Now you don't have a pass rush and you hit those big plays over the top, forcing Anthony Brown and Diggs and them to cover for longer periods of time. So Eagles just have to stick with who they are. They got to stay with their game plan. They have to run the football um, over and over and over again, get the Cowboys to buy into it and then hit them over the top. Um, and I think, honestly, I, I think they do it. I, I think the Philadelphia Eagles in this game without Dak Prescott being able to come back and, and, and force more pressure on the, on the Eagles defense who's played really well. I think the Eagles win this game 23, 16. I do think it's going to be tough for both teams to score. Uh, but I think the Eagles pull this one out at home. Um, and they cover the spread 23, 16, even though it's a disrespectful spread. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's kind of what it like. It's, it is disrespectful, but it could end up happening. AJ, what about you? Um, I like points. I'm a, I'm a good points guy. Uh, I also am taking a, the Eagles in this game. I think they keep rolling a little bit tough. Uh, I'm going to go 28, 27 Philadelphia Eagles kicker. Heroes. No chance in hell. That's that high. That it's that high of a scoring game. <laughs> Yeah, well, <laughs> I, I, you know, this this should be the one that I reserve my right to change. <laughs> give, I mean, if it is, it, still, I'll keep my Eagles still. That's going to be Give crazy. me 24 20. Drop it a little Oh, bit. you saw. Sick. <laughs> Sick. 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 Uh, Eagles 24 20 in this game. I'm not going to. This was my original pick. This is what I'm sticking with. 24 20. It is not a high scoring game. Uh, it does come down to the wire, though. Uh, and I do think it's just going to – I think what we see in this game is uh, – almost puts the kibosh on everyone trying to force the narrative of Cooper Rush, Dak Prescott, quarterback competition, that laughable thing. Uh, I think at the end of this game, so you funny. see a failed drive, a failed two-minute drive uh, by Cooper Rush that doesn't get the Cowboys the victory here, and the Eagles win 24-20 to to remain uh, unbeaten. In the NFL, they would go to 6-0. and oh.